What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. What's in the news today? Tom Cruise is in the news. Tom Cruise is going to be making Top Gun 3 and he's also going back to Warner Brothers Studios. So according to the Mail Online, Tom Cruise is set to make Top Gun 3. Hooray! Another sequel is in the works at Paramount. Despite movie star inking a huge new deal with Warner Brothers, he's going to be making Top Gun 3 with Paramount. He's also got Mission Impossible 7 Part 2. Or Missing Impossible 8 or whatever we want to call it. Dead Reckoning Part 2. Going to be made with Paramount and then he's, he's shipping himself out to Warner Brothers. So what does it say? Tom Cruise is flying back into action for a new Top Gun sequel after the massive box office success of the previous entry. Yeah, Top Gun 2 made like nearly one and a half billion, one point four nine billion dollars it made at the box office. That was on a budget of $170 million. So the 61 year old superstar is going to be back as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. And Paramount, which will be producing again, is hoping to reunite him with his recent co-stars Miles Teller and Glenn Powell. 61 years old. By the time, by the time this rolls around, because I know that the script's in development, so it's not going to film this year. He's got Mission Impossible 7 Part 2 to film this year, and then he's going to do his space movie where he go, actually goes into space for some reason. So there's another year or two. So what we're we looking at, two, three years, he's going to be 64, 65 years old. Still younger than Harrison Ford, I guess. And Sylvester Stallone, who's doing Cliffhanger 2, and he's going to be 100 when he films that. So, yeah, fair play. The news that Cruise is back in business with Paramount, where he's released many of his recent films, comes just days after he signed for a deal with Warner Brothers. He's going to produce and develop new films for that studio, including movies that he's also going to star in. According to Puck News, Maverick co-writer Aaron Kruger is writing a script for the third entry in the series. So that's underway, that's in development, so it's pre-pre-production. Sources have told Hollywood Reporter that the director, Joseph Kaczynski, who obviously directed Top Gun 2, is also expected to return after proving himself with a critical and commercial smash success. Cruz's last deal with Paramount ended in 2006. Despite his continued work with the studio and the new deal with Warner Brothers is non-exclusive, which is going to allow him to still work with other studios. However, he's expected to be getting his own office on the Warner's lot. Cruz and his co-stars helped lead the long-awaited sequel Top Gun Maverick to nearly 1.5 billion in grosses. And the action film's months-long stint in theatres helped revive the theatrical business amid the ongoing pandemic virus. Although news of the high-flying sequel struck some as an attempt to blunt the positive publicity Warner Brothers was getting for scoring a Cruz connection, the Hollywood Reporter reports that it has been quietly in development since the late fall. Paramount didn't comment on the development. Despite the hopes of Hollywood and theatre owners that crews could once again revive their bottom lines with another successful Top Gun film, they'll have to wait quite some time before it even goes into production. Yes, they will. It's going to be four or five years. Easy. The guy's got a lot of things in the pipeline. There was even talk of Oblivion Part 2, Dead Reckoning Part 2, Space Film Part 1. God knows. The guy just never never rests. The actor first has to finish the eighth instalment in the Mission Impossible series, a direct continuation to last year's Dead Reckoning Part 1, which underperformed compared to expectations. Yeah, it did underperform. It only did uh, like 570 million. It, it, it had a budget of 290 million, for God's sake. So that's nearly 300 million and it's made 570. It would cost at least two or 300 million just for the promotion and advertising and all the rest that goes along with it that the, the um, I don't even know if that money I don't even know if that film would make its money back or oh, turn a profit rather I think I think the, I think the problem with that compared to compared to Top Gun 2 Top Gun 2 was brilliant you had you had your diverse cast you had your action you had Tom Cruise coming back you had a you had a, a, a great cast in, in Top Gun 2 Miles Teller Val Kilmer Glenn Powell etc uh, and it was just a, it was a simple straightforward uh, the bad guys are there we need the train to to get the bad guys we'll go and get the bad guys we've got the bad guys end of story and i went to see dead reckoning and i was underwhelmed to be honest it, it was a great film there was some great action set pieces don't get me wrong tom cruise was great the entire cast was great obviously tom cruise vanessa kirby rebecca ferguson ving rams simon pegg essay morales as the supposedly bad guy gabriel shea wiggum pom clementif was in there i thought she was really i thought she was great and it, it, it was an okay film but i think the problem was that people weren't going and giving it repeated viewings i think top gun people were going to see it three four five times which is going to boost 
obviously it's going to boost your box office. People will go, I think, ah, it's just an opinion. I think people will go on to see Mission Impossible. who are coming away fairly underwhelmed, thinking it was a good film, and they weren't going back to see it, and they weren't giving it great word of mouth. And then you had uh, Barbie and Oppenheimer opened up about two or three weeks later, which stormed the gates. Anyway, it goes on to say the film may have also been hurt by only having a brief time on premium screens before the Barbenheimer juggernaut. The dual release of Barbie and Oppenheimer in the same week pushed it out. Fair comment. Could very well have done so. I think it, it yeah, it was in it, it was in theatres for like four or five weeks, but it was, I think it was on Paramount Plus within a matter of weeks, which doesn't really help your box office. If people can watch it at home, they don't have to go and spend 40 or $50 to watch it in a theatre. The next Mission Impossible film is currently set to be released in May 2025. Development on Top Gun 3 could take considerable time, based on the time frame for Maverick. Cruz's return to work with Warner Brothers comes almost a decade after his last film for the studio's 2014 cult film Edge of Tomorrow. Now, Edge of Tomorrow has been talked about since 2014. A sequel has been talked about. People have speculated and people have teased this and teased that. And every time people get interviewed, they're like, oh yeah, we're open to return. Emily Blunt's open to return. Tom Cruise is open to return. Could we see some hope on the horizon of having a sequel to Edge of Tomorrow now that he's gone back to Warner Brothers? Very possibly exciting news. And that's all she wrote, folks. So we're getting Top Gun 3, apparently. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is Cruise too old? If they do produce a new one, it's not to say I won't go and see it, but I don't think we need another one. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now. Really